Fellow Slingers, Matt Whitlock here, editor of SlingCommunity.com. We're here at the Digital Life Expo in New York City. Although Sling Media isn't exhibiting directly here at the show today, we did get a chance to catch up with Brian Jacob of Sling Media to give us a sneak peek at the highly anticipated up-and-coming Sling player for the Macintosh. This is Brian Jaquette, Director of Public Relations for Sling Media. And Brian is going to take us through uh, Sling Player Matt today. Thanks for taking the time to talk with us. Absolutely, man. Uh, happy to be here. We're here in New York, which is great. Uh, it's a digital life show. And, um, you know, as, you, as you, you and I talked about earlier, lots going on with Sling Media. Uh, new products, new platform support that we'd like to talk about today. And, uh, it's great to be able to interact with the community in this, this fashion. So, take a minute to tell us about your new products. Uh, it's got to be really exciting. You have the Slingbox Pro, Tuner, and AV. How has that kind of changed the landscape of Slingray? Right well, it's, 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 it's kind of interesting. You know, last night, uh, we were at a media event, uh, Jeremy Tillman and I, and uh, we had a you know, family of products on the table, which, you know, for the first time, uh, the Slingbox was, was, was a great first product. We had a tremendous amount of support for it. Now having a whole family, it looks We've taken that next step, right? I mean, next step in the growth of the company and the growth of the maturity of the company. Um, and having three products really allows us to segment a little bit more as well. And also try to, you know, now that we're kind of a year into this whole thing, um, try to reach new customers as well as really give our existing customer base um, incentive to to move up to. That's great. I mean, the new products. products are really exciting and really awesome. And definitely today, what we really want to talk about. Yeah. And what's probably really exciting for a lot of people is Sling Player Man. Yeah, so absolutely. Macintosh compatibility for Sling Player. Yeah. So uh, I know that everyone would love the tour. Uh, so if you'd be willing to, to give us a tour of Sling Player Man, that'd be great. Absolutely. I'm happy to do that. Awesome. Yeah. Alright Matty, well we're going to start with a, uh, we got a MacBook and uh, you'll see obviously on the bottom here that there's an icon when you install it uh, in the uh, in the kind of the cool toolbar here. So we're going to open that up and uh, the app application opens up to the Simbox directory just like you would on the Simplayer for the PC software. Now we're going to pick uh, Rich's TiVo and double click it. It connects. Starts the stream. And here we are watching the Sling Player Mac watching ESPN. So you'll see that um, the functionality is very, very similar. We don't have the favorites bars set up yet. It's something we're definitely uh, uh, working on. But you've got um, the mute button volume, and you can control the volume. By pushing this up as well, and pushing this across, pushing the, bringing the remote up, just like you saw it, um, and in this case we're connected to a TiVo, so the functionality is completely there. If I hit the TiVo button, as if I was, uh, just like I was watching the TiVo uh, at home. I can go into my now playing list, or I can go back and I can um, I can watch live TV as well. And just like on the PC side, we also have the ability to dock on the right or the left. And you can go full screen. And the remote will, will, will go away. Oops. And I put it in the middle there. Say if I change the channel. I'm watching the Greg Berent show. Some new, I don't know what that is. But you can see it's in full screen mode now. Now that we're working on we're working on the video quality still, and that's something that's going to be refined over the next uh, couple weeks, as well as during the public beta. But as you can see, all the functionality, just about all the functionality, is the Sling Player for the PC is there. It's working on a native Mac operating system. Um, you know, it works works really well. Looks really good, um, and we're excited. We're very excited.
Bring it back down. We also have the ability to, you know, to control the video size. Um, we can change inputs. So, in this case, um, we can change the inputs. So, disconnect, reconnect back, and actually. Um, I know for a fact that this input does not work, so I will uh, I'll push it back to the S video. But you can um, you have all the functionality of the, the Sinclair PC running on the Mac. Up. We're excited for, for for our customers to start really you know banging on it and start using it and uh, seeing how they like it as well. Thanks for the tour. Sure. It really looks good. It looks like it's shaping up well. Um, I guess that really gets us to the final question. Uh, one that I know everybody out there really wants to know is, when is this going to be publicly available for people to try and use? Absolutely, Matt. And, you know, we are just as excited and anxious to get this out there to the public. You know, we've been in this private data uh, for uh, you know, probably a couple months now. Uh, there's a couple of Critical little things we just got to make sure that are, are right before we can push it out there for the mass mass users. Believe me, we want to get it out there as quickly as possible. We want to make sure also that we're supporting both PowerPC, Intel based Mac Mac users. We want to make sure that the experience is is good for for a Mac customer. Um, but uh, you can expect the public beta to be available, you know, within the next probably 20 to 30 days. Um, here we are, in October. 12th right now. So, end of October, early November at the very latest. Uh, we definitely should. Brian, thanks for taking the time to talk to us today and showing us some of the Do you have any final words for this little community? You guys rock, man. Thanks a lot for all your support and uh, keep, being, uh, keep being active on the forums and, and giving us all the great feedback and uh, keep us honest. <laughs>